Hey, hi. Hello. <gasps> welcome in, welcome back. What's good? We are back with another fears to fathom. Brand new episode just dropped today. So let's see what it's about. December 8th. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Why is it so dark in here? Hope we didn't need that. All right. Coffee. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Got it. Oh! My hands were full. My bad. Oh, got it. Uh, what goes in there? Needed an empty cup to fill water. Got it. Yes! A fresh cup of piping hot coffee. Let's go. I need to put a lid on it, of course. to use the restroom. Who else is here? Okay. We're just taking our coffee right into the bathroom. Got it. Uh... I don't know where to go. I don't know which one to go into. I was done with it. We figured it out. This bathroom kind of sucks. We're in it. Oh. We have a potty bar. <laughs> okay. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yeah. You should have knocked. Again, 
I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Okay, what was your frustration? <laughs> Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Dang, that's rude. Why would someone do that? <laughs> it definitely wasn't us, okay? Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night. Picking up coffee cups. Okay, have a good night. <laughs> oh, later. <laughs> Always wash your hands. Come on. Basic hygiene. Flush. <laughs> Let's freaking go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna follow this guy. Excuse me. Hold the door next time, please, sir. Dang. Freaking rude. Where's my coffee cup? Here it is. I'll I'll take care of this. We'll find we'll find a trash can and properly dispose of our coffee. Properly dispose of our coffee. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. Let's go see what this guy wants. Or let's see what he's doing here so late. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking to see if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? Still working on that report? Yeah. I'm trying to get this done. Good luck. Okay. Oh, that must be my phone. Hello? Hello, go for Sydney Harper. Who's this? Hello? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, I've Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? My battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, no, it, uh, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um... Um... Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Roland, thanks for the follow. Brenda, hi! Welcome in, how are you? Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. About our trip? And Nora. Our trip? As in you and me? Me and you? Uh, I was gonna do it after work. Question no worries, mark? Harper. I don't want to stress <laughs> you out. Good, as thanks. long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Everyone's playing this right now. Let's go. Uh, no worries, Harper. I don't want it to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah. We'll book it. Uh, yes, Mike? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Bro is nice third wheeling up. this guy? Mike? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Maybe I could pick you up and ride together. I'm the third wheel? It would be nice to catch up. What's happening? You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Mike and Sydney time? Before Nora gets there. What are you feeling to do, Mike? Sounds Great. good. Uh, I'm I in. guess I'll let you get back I'm to work in. then. Let's go. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What's that, Mike? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Uh... 
So you want like a shady motel? I'm getting like motel. What is that? Motel 8? Hotel 8? For under 100 a night. The old cabin in the woods, Mike? Is that what you want? Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going Okay, so very Mike's well with her. Nora. Then what the heck is Sid and Mike? He's giving mixed signals. Nora wants a tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I'm just gonna hang up. Not my business. That's between you and Nora. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> is Player and Sydney together or friends, right? All I know is that was Mike. I'm Sydney, and who the heck is Nora? All right, let's check out our computer. Oh no, 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 I don't do this. This looks uh, spreadsheety. Rainbow sheets. Mm -mm -mm. No, you don't want me doing this at all. Type invader. Oh no, oh no. I can't type either. Oh shit. Okay, it's fine. We're good. Uh, death. Heavy. Clear. Wench, let's go. Uh, Gabe. <laughs> Guys, this is embarrassing. Guys, look away. Um, favor shot. Um, short. Party. Ring. Sun, slow, fuck, slow. Got it, got it, got it. We're fine, 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 fine. Took a hit, took a hit. Maybe two. It's okay. <sighs> Busy, they're running, they're running. Sleep in. <sighs> Kill. Circle. Kill circle. Hurry. Order. Fucking what? E table. Charge. Climb. Fi fire. Fire. Yes. Does. I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> River. Dot. Self. Uh, famous. Dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can. Li liquid. Quid. Oh. <laughs> No, I freaking died. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Fucking typing game. Who does that? Who does that to someone? What's in my browser? Feeling unlucky? Search. Clouds. Oh! That's not what I typed. I promise. I didn't do that. What is that? Col... Rental, rentals, rent, rent. What am I renting? What do I need to look up? Rent, rent. I don't know what I'm supposed to type. Hello? Rent, cabin, rent, rentcabin.com. That's it. <laughs> rentcabin.com find your place to stay rent any cabin from hosts around the world it is like airbnb rentacabin.com where are you going <gasps> yep woodbury the name of the game let's go woodbury oh no that's way too no no Getting there. $99 a night, a private cabin in Woodbury. We got fishing, free parking, garden, kitchen, TV, and Wi-Fi with a two-star review. All right, that's it, that's the one. We don't even need to look any farther. <laughs> you sound like someone who does the news. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, love it. Um, okay, here we go. We got a bedroom. A little picnic table. All right. Three guests. I guess there's three of us. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath, 1.5 shared bedrooms. Boom. Let's print it. Oh, can I go back? Not anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Rowan. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you the basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if... Ugh, I'm sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. What's happening? Who's talking to me right now? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Is this Sydney talking? Is this me? Am I telling me about, am I telling you about me, about Sydney? Are we learning about Sydney? We didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace? We're not doing that anymore in 2024, right? It is. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend away, a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Okay, so we know who Mike is now. He's our old college buddy. Let's go, Mike. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Well, yeah, especially if Nora's with Mike. Why would Nora just let me and Mike go out to a cabin in the woods? The plan was simple. We rented a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday, leave, and we'll be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Dun, 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 two days later. We're in an elevator. We've got Mike. Oh, Michael J. Carter. Who's this guy? I thought that was Mike. How do I answer? Hello? Mike? Oh, oh no. Mike! Okay. Pulling into the parking garage now. Are you down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Okay. From the cabin. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my... Mike, chill. Uh, thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to the 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to contact me with for anything during your day. Look forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward it. We're looking forward it. Just, co uh, just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. 5176, let's remember that. Just booked. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Please call me. I'm off work now. Okay, heading that way, pulling into the parking garage. 5176, let's go. Where's Mike? Oh. Hey, Mike. Harp. Big hug. That's still how you hug people? What do you mean? What do you mean? Elm Wells. Oh my God, with the heart me. How are you? <laughs> Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Okay. You look good. <laughs> Why, Mike? Why? Uh, thanks for picking me up. 
Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have some company, by the way. This old truck brings me back so many memories. Right? This bad boy's been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Let's do it. Where's my stuff? Oh. Of course, I set it down to give Mike a long, amazing hug. Here we go. Hit! Oh, I am not strong at all. Here we go. Hit! Got it. We got it. Alrighty then, Harp. Why is he calling me? Oh, Sydney Harper. Sydney Harper. Call me Sydney. Please, Mike. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Oh, wait. Where's Nora? Oh. And this is only a two-seater pickup. Would have been a tight fit. Know what I'm saying? Maybe he left Nora home. <laughs> Maybe he left Nora at home. It's me and Mike now. It was starting to snow. This was actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. Elizabeth with a heart me, let's go. What game is this? This is uh, the new Fears to Fathom episode. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. That little bobblehead? I can see a little bit of the resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth with that freaking ice cream cones. Thank you so much. Whoa. Mike, eyes on the road, please. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. And now, here we are. Mike, what are you talking about? Oh no, Rick Wilson. Uh, trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know. Why, why did we look at that creepy school bus? <laughs> Little Raven Reader, hello. Is this the new fears to fathom? It is, let's go. Did you see that? School bus? See what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project? You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. <laughs> it's true. It's true, that tiny school bus. Oh! <sighs> Mike almost killed a deer. Oh, snap. <laughs> Who says that? Oh, snap. That was close. You know. I read on the internet. What's up with this guy and reading shit on the internet? You love watching the games they make? Me too. They're so fun. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Oh, really, Mike? What's the message? Huh? Oh, wait. Speaking of messages. Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. And I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything was okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little da- What's happening? Let me read. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. I'm getting out. I'm jumping out. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like the stars and galaxies rushing past us. The roads near Woodbury can be a little... If this dude don't let me read my text messages, we're gonna have a problem. Me and Mike are gonna have a problem. It's kind of 
Beautiful. Just like me, Mike? Say it. Just like me? Yeah. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite... And they wonder why we don't respond to text messages. Yo, Harp, check that out. Moe's Pizza. Yes, I'm starving. Who doesn't love pizza? Um, oh. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. What year is this? This pizzeria is exactly where it ha where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry. I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> okay. All right, Mike, let's go. Oh. Oh, thanks, Mike. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. Um, thanks. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Oh, no. Let's check in with our field report. We're gonna have to keep How's warm with there, Mike. No. Oh, it's so cold out. <laughs> Mike didn't need to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Mike didn't need to hear that. All right, let's go. Order. Hello. Um, okay. Hello. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss? Let's see. We're going to do cheese, a margarita and a veggie. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today. Mike! I want something to drink. Who freaking eats without drinking? That's psycho. That's absolutely psycho. If you don't eat, if you don't drink something when you're eating, I, no, I don't trust you. Not even a little bit. All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 22.50. Some pizza. What if you start choking? What if you start choking? Emma! And <laughs> Dave is a bit creepy, right? Uh, are we still talking? Who's making those sounds? Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. Someone's really enjoying that pizza. <clears throat> Is that dude for sure. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? What are those sounds? We're headed to a cap. Should we tell him? Should we tell him? Should we tell him? Do you tell a stranger? I mean, we just walked up and started talking to him. Just passing through on a road trip with my friend. We're headed to a cabin in Woodbury. Very, very descriptive. Of course. Woodbury, you say? Beautiful place. Used to camp there quite often when I was a younger man. There's something about being in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overhead. Those memories just stay with you. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> what are these guys up to? What's that guy doing? Hello? Do you need something? How you doing, my friend? Wait, is that me? Is that me? 
No, but yes, do it for the plot. <laughs> am I asking him, how you doing, my friend? Or is he asking me, how am I doing? Not bad, you. I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. Sounds good. We gotta keep our eye out on that guy. For sure, for sure. Hey, girl. Oh. How's your day going? Who are you? <laughs> I'm Sydney. Sydney Harper, nice to meet you. <laughs> Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Hey guys! How's your day going? It's going much better now after this pizza. Thanks for asking. How about you? Great. It's our first time in the area. Are you from here? Oh no, we're on our way to a conference in the next town over. Not too much farther to go. Nice. We just stopped to eat whenever a place... We just stopped to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has cozy vibes. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or just passing through? We're headed to a rental in Woodbury. Absolutely. Tell everybody where we're at. Woodbury, huh? We passed a sign for that. Didn't we, Chris? Uh... I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and uh, be careful here in the snow. Enjoy your pizza. All right, Chris, what's up? <gasps> Talkative, we talked to all the NPCs in the pizzeria. I knew it was gonna be a freaking achievement. Let's go. I don't have any pizza. Chris? Long sniff. <sighs> it smells so good in here. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> yeah, it does. Long sniff. Oh, friends. Uh, friends three ever. Friends, three of us. Is it because it's a three-way? It's me and Mike and Nora? All right, finally, we can read. Okay, we're on our way. We should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and safe travel. <laughs> and safe travel. All right, message from Nora. We're on the road, Nora. Let us, let us know when you get going. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Ooh. What? He's going to make sure we stay up to let her in? Why don't you stay up? Where's my pizza? <sighs> I'm out of here. I'm not out of here. Dang it. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group chat? Or in the group? Yeah, I just saw it. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll... Mike? Mike! I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What, what can we do? Emma with the game controller. Let's freaking go. Thank you so much. Don't knock a Um, Mike, 
Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I kind of don't like. Order number 27. You folks are right here. Let's go. That pizza. Chris. Freaking pizza's in my way. All right, here we go. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you so much. All right. We got our cheese. Nom, 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 nom. Mike, is there something you want to share with the class? Right? Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Now we're up to current current uh, terminology. This pizza slaps. Everyone is so creepy. Abort mission. <laughs> Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. And just like that, we're back. We're back to the olden days. This bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Okay, keep eating. Stop interrupting me, Mike. Dang. Also, 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 if you don't eat the crust, you're a freaking monster. If you don't eat the pizza crust, you're a freaking monster. Damn, Harp. You actually eat the crust. Yeah, Mike. Yes, Mike. We do eat the crust. We do eat the crust. It's kind of wasteful not to. It's the best part. It's the best part. I guess. But you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Fuck out. Mike's done. Mike's done. No happy time for Mike. <laughs> or fun time with Mike or whatever he thinks is going to happen is not going to happen. No, we're done. Hey there, my friends. Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. I saw y'all pull in the drive. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. That's right. That's us. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. You want to ride? Let me jump in the back. <laughs> Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Oh yeah? Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking through, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Absolutely, you can come with us. Hold on a second says Mike. Don't you think we need to discuss this? <laughs> sure, feel free to jump right in, Mike. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. <laughs> it's my friend's car. I'm sorry, or we would give you a ride, but there just isn't any space. I'm gonna say it's my friend's car because I was like hyping him up like, yes, you can ride with me. And then Mike came in and was like, nah. So, sorry. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> He's upset. I can see that you're mad. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. No need for threats, sir. Are you, are you threatening us? Says Mike. No, no, no. Y'all got me wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah. Thanks. God dang it, Mike. Are you serious? How are you going to let that stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? 
I mean, he seemed harmless. Uh, you really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another Ted Bundy. Harp. That would have been interesting. That would have been a good ride. And a good story, Mike. Dang. All right. You know, if we made it out alive, that is. All right. A couple more bites, last one, and it's over. Burp? Oh no, I forgot to read the yellow stuff. That was the perfect pizza. Blue. Uh. Blue. Blue. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got a message. Nora. Uh, heart. And a little... Happy face and a heart. Cool, cool. Uh, let's go. Time to hit the road, Mike. Mike. Move. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can even beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. I'm driving. <laughs> the chewing ASMR. Girls. The worst. Ugh, the worst. Harp. The weather is awful. Why don't you drive the part? Why don't you drive part of the way home? <laughs> Take a break while I drive, Michael. Your full government name, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. <laughs> You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys, Michael. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when, or if we get there, whatever. Takes keys. Frickin' vroom vroom, let's go. It's my time to drive, oh my god, I'm the best driver, let's go! Oh. 5.49 p.m., it's time to let me drive. Oh, I am driving. Evening, yeah. This is your host on WKWB. Oh, are we? Oh, we're not the there. Best tunes to warm your I'm the best driver ever. Children. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that makes you feel <laughs> right at home. Coming up next. I told you driving in the snow is no joke. Stay warm. It's fine. Stay tuned. It's fine. I was out of practice with driving. Oh. I don't want to talk about what's on the ride. Pitch me up on the mic, spitting what I like. I've been reminiscing on friends and listening. Maybe I don't know where to go in the snow. I don't be shit weird, but come on, man, be sincere. We're going to be here a hundred years, so let's appear. That was my contribution to the song. Oh, shit. He's in my lane. He's in my lane. Son of a. He was in my lane. Oh shit! You cannot even write back. Wait. Wait! But if it's where we're headed, I don't want to recollect it. The time for moment is alone, it's feeling in direction. So hit me back and I'll send you some love. Don't intercept on me because I just want to We're fine, you see. Like real, check me out. We're getting there. It's a beautiful old truck. What does that say? Woodbury. On this way. Over the bridge and through the woods. This little cabin in Woodbury we go. Straighten her out. Anyone remember what the cabin looked like? I'm connected to a heart like the moon and the 
hypnotized And besides, no one can take her up and out of my life I think the words come together well and that's no coincidence Trying to be the best that I can be without no wishing that Feeling like a plane, trying to soar in the sky But without you feel so hesitant, I can't lie I'm trying to be a millionaire before I'm 25 Maybe I'm like halfway, maybe I can make it there oh, no. I ain't trying to slow down cause I'm trying to time I'm I guess we're going right Oh man, I don't worry about all the drama, yeah Woodbury, we made it. All right. I drove past our cabin at first. Oh my God, he is gonna crash into us. Space to get out. I drove past our cabin at first. Mike, I think we're almost there. Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. 241? Is this it? And this should be it. Let's go. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. Me too. Okay, where do we park? Right here? Right here. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. And this should be it. Yeah, Mike, I know. I'm trying to get out. Mike, say it again. Say it one more time. Space. It was space to get out. It was a very cold night. Mike, uh, Mike, um, Mike. Seven. Six. Oh, we can't. <laughs> I know. I know. We're that good. All right, here we go. Hello. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. I got it. <laughs> Enter the cabin, we've checked in. Do I just... Yeah! I guess so. Mm, there's the groceries. All right, here we go. Take a quick look. We got a little shed outside, a little fire piat. Okay, here we go. Uh... Oh. Oh no. I had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. What game is this? Luna, this is the new Fears to Fathom. Uh... No, that was perfect. Damn, yeah, got it. Uh, the new Fears to Fathom. Uh, Woodbury something or other. I... Okay. Best mill. I don't know how to... Oh. What is this? Is that a bell pepper? What is that? Those are bell peppers. We got some eggs. 
some of frozen yogurt, and some lettuce. Doesn't, doesn't look like a complete meal. That's okay. Mike, I did it. I put away the groceries. Ooh. Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? <laughs> Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. That's nasty. Hang on. I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Hang and don't unpack my bag. That's weird. Um. All right, here we go. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. That's nasty. I wouldn't want to go in there after him, right? Right? We had to just... No, you can hold that pee at least until the stench clears. Come on. All right, we're doing the... We're doing the potty bar again. Text Rick. Oh, yes. Rick, we're here. I've checked in. Perfect. All right. A little washing of the hands. And... We're out of here. A little crossword book. Let's go. Who? You feeling better after the drive? I'm good. Want to check out the house? So, sounds good to me. He's glitching. Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. After me? Okay. Well, someone left the fire going, so that's a super hazard. But at least it's nice and warm. Whatever that was. All right, what's out here? God. We got some board games. Some chess. Whispers in the dark. Was that like Jenga? Catopoly? And of course, Luigi. Of course, the Ouija board. Hey, Mike, look what I found. Look what I found, Mike. Mike. Mike's coming out of the Ouija board. No. Okay, I was joking though. You can go. Oh. All right, let's leave it there. Let's go, Mike. My hands were full. We're definitely gonna do some freaking Ouija, you know what I'm saying? Kenzie, thanks for the follow. All right. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Okay, let's check out the shed. We have a basket. You know, it's, you know, you know what's gonna happen right now. Let's go. Nothing but that. Three, two. Mike, it's getting really cold. Yeah, well, then go back inside. Get some. Oh. Okay, all right, a little bit higher, it's fine. A little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. We got this. Get some. Mike, hi. Maybe I should be just a little bit closer. <gasps> Net. Was that at least the rim? Are we getting there? Higher. Three points. I'm a ball of Kobe. Let's go. <laughs> Kobe. That was the uh, achievement. This guy really must like fishing. Okay. Bait and fish pairing knowledge. 
frozen prawns, prank bait, sweet corn, maggot bait, <laughs> cheese delight, and the wooden, the wooden fishing rod. Okay. I don't, I don't want to look at this anymore. Got it. Okay. Excuse me. Oh. Bye, Mike. <laughs> Tried to lock him in there, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay. Get out of here, Mike. What's this door lead to? It's big. <gasps> A totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. Are you sure? I don't smell the long beach. <laughs> I don't smell the long beach cush here. Haha. <laughs> Mike. Funny. Mike? Hello? What happened? I'm stuck in like a chat box. Uh, Mike. Guys, I'm stuck in like a chat log. Oh no. Oh no. Why am I stuck here? Hitting the space. <gasps> no. Please. No. Okay, what if I just... I'm gonna have to stop it. I'm gonna have to stop it and hope it saves. You see what Mike did? You see what that butthole Mike did? It's all Mike's fault. Please let it be where we were at. Please, please, please. I might have to do the pee thing all over again and restock the fridge. Oh, it put me all the way back to driving. That's crazy. And Mike, freaking butthole. Okay, it's fine. At least we know exactly where to go and exactly what to do. Right? Let's go. Freaking L's for Mike. L's for Mike. Wait, what happened? I got stuck in a chat, lo like a chat box. Fuck. Not the popo, -po. and I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out of it. It was like frozen. So we're back here for a minute. Okay, then we go here. And why does everybody honk? I'm driving just fine. Oh gosh, it... Is this like early release for gamers? No, 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 no. Just a little bug. Just a little bug. <gasps> that guy tried to hit us. That guy literally tried to hit us. Just a little bug. We're back. It's all good. Promise. Okay, is this, yes, we turn right and then the cabin's on the left, yes? No? Yes, here we go. And Woodbury, and there's our cabin right there. Where's my handbag? Skirt! 
Here we are. Yes, Mike, I know. My legs fell asleep. One second. What? <laughs> what? What, Mike? Okay, so we're just gonna have... God. Alright, here we go. Do we remember it a second time? Five, one, seven. Yes. Let's go. All right, space to get back out. And in we go. And hit. Yes, Mike, we know you have to go to the bathroom. It smells so nice in here. Take your time, Mike. You have to go to the bathroom? Sure, got it. <laughs> All right. Do you think it got my Kobe? Do you think it got my Kobe? I'm gonna do it again just to make sure. All right, we're done, Mike. Let's go. Okay, he's done. Sorry about that, you okay? Um, well, I put all the crushes away. Thanks for handling that harp. Anyway, this place looks... This place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Uh, oh, I guess we really have to be. Okay, thanks. All right, so we're gonna do the thing. And then we're going to... Do the thing. We're gonna shoot our hoop, get our Kobe, make sure that achievement's there. <laughs> Deja vu. And then we'll be right back to where we were. Not too bad. Oh yeah, text Rick. We're here. Okay. Uh, let's check out the house. Sounds good to me. After you. Yep. Going outside. We probably have to look at that uh, fishing thing too. Let's get close. And Kobe! It's getting really cold. Mike, shut your mouth. Light. Okay, cool. This guy must really like fishing. Yep. Okay. All right, so we were going into the basement and that's when we got into that little... Should we go down in the basement again or... I don't want to get stuck again. Maybe we go upstairs this time. All right. Nothing to see here. Ooh. Nice. I don't know. <gasps> oh, hey. You're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home, sweet home. Rick? What a lovely, lo lovely young couple. No, 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 mm -mm. nope, we're just friends. We're just, oopsie daisy. Silly me, oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Kissy, thanks for the follow, let's go. Oh, um. I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Mike, are you going to say anything? Okay, speaking of that, 
Now that your folks are here, let me show you around my, my sweet home. Right, right now? It'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay, all right, all right. Looks like you didn't fix the TV. Are you coming, miss? <laughs> right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. What is Mike doing with his head? Mike, yo, get out of here. All right. Cool, another bathroom. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. So he's just staying? Let me show you the other bedroom now. Huh? Bites tiger attacking police? Singer, invader from space reveals truth about nut allergies. <laughs> Look, Harp. This room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? <laughs> Wait, I'm getting I'm getting my voices confused. <laughs> Wait till I show you the deck. De deck. Follow me now, please. Damn it! I lost his accent. I can't do it. Alright. Everything. He's the freaking shadow figure we saw when we were on the outside of the house. Are you coming, miss? Yes. Dang. What is this? A little laundry room. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Yeah, incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head in before I catch the cold here again. Before we catch the cold. We don't want to catch the cold. He still didn't fix the TV. Here's the storage room. If you need any tools, oh, if you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Had to throw his flashlight back at him, you know what I'm saying? I bet those cameras in those eyes. How much you wanna bet? How much you wanna bet? All righty, folks, I see you've already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. What? What? Turn the knob for more cooling, up for more cooling and down to cool? It, are those directions clear? Is my brain not braining? I need help. What's happening? Is that right? Turn it up for more cooling and down to cool it off. <laughs> Less cool? Okay. Got it. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. He's talking about the thermostat. I thought we was talking about the fridge. Speaking of winter, 
I better show you folks the water heater. Oh, good. Good. Now we gotta check the water heater too. Whoa! Oh, yes, I'm coming. What the heck? What was Mike doing? His head was all backwards. No access to guests. I couldn't open the door. All right, there she is, the water heater. Um, Nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit that button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up, and you'll be back in business. The button at the bottom, right there. Right there, we see the button. And it'll fire right back up. Okay, what's over here? What's in here? What is that? Oh, I thought it was a fridge. For body parts. Shh. That's what I thought. All right, old man. Oh, hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with, all right? I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Let's move on. Just ad lib. Just ad lib. You know what I mean? Make it a little better? Was it better? I don't, maybe. Ugh. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I had to keep myself. Maybe I had to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from. Well, he told me. His mother is no longer here, and it happened down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down there. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you... I wouldn't really step down here. But the water heater. The water heater. Like. Hehe. <laughs> 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 the look on your faces. Come on now, I'm just joking. At this point, my creepy meter, what? Yeah. People keep interrupting while I'm trying to read the spooky goodness of the story. <laughs> is Michael Jackson in the room with us? He sure is now. Alrighty, folks, snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Thank you so much. Finger guns. By the way. What now? What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Sydney Harper. Ha! Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. See how creepy it sounds, Mike? See how creepy it sounds? <laughs> is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, 
I'll find something to watch while you're in there. And, uh, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. <laughs> what a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Bye. Okay. What are we doing? We're checking out the tea. Wait, I'm taking a shower? Oh my god, I was confused. I'm taking the shower in the waterfall in the Amazon. He's gonna watch TV. Okay. <sighs> oh, wrong. I, why am I walking so slow all of a sudden? I mean, it is a rainfall shower head, so that's accurate. Let's look around real quick. I didn't need to use the towel. Just check it. All right, here we go. <gasps> the shower door was open. Okay, we're in. We're in, we're going, it's good. Rainfall shower. Now I need the towel. Three, two, one. I guess, uh, we're gonna go down and, uh, see Mike. Everything looks good. Nothing to see here. What was that? I heard a door open. Right? Nora? Oh. Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to uh, catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned it, that would be pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it, hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. You thought my Kobe was good. Wait till you see my fishing. Where are we gonna fish out here? And that's a big rod, Mike. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Do you wanna grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, snap! <laughs> I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're gonna catch some carp, harp. We're gonna catch us some carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. All right, what do we need for the carp? The carp love sweet corn. Sweet, sweet corn. Here it is. God. All right, Mike. To the creek. We can even play the guitar. You know what I'm saying? The guitar. I hope those carp are biting today. Why does that look like the thing we drove over? All right, here we go. Right mouth to put it on the hook. I guess we sit down. 
and who which who am I oh here we go here we go here we go we're in the guitar and the yes the guitar here we go do I have a little like fish bar You know, I think the old saying is right. A bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at work. Um, is that a saying? I don't know. Here we go. Oh shit. All right, here we go. We're in the water, okay. All right, oh my God, Mike got one. I can't be out, Mike. Oh, 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 what am I supposed to do? Oh, AD, 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 AD. I was, I was clicking, I was clicking the thing. Oh. I don't... <gasps> Got it. Yes. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Is that what they say, Mike? Is it? Is that what they say? Is that a saying? I think he's messing with us. I I have attached bait. Let's go. Here we 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 go. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. One more carp left. You got this? Yeah, sure. I'll do all the work. It's fine. I would love to. I would love to. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Meanwhile, he's sitting over just catching every single time. Oh, I pulled it. Soothing music, but creepy people. All right. We love that. We love that. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Got it. All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. opportunity we can't guitar what's that sound remember we got an axe out here we got an axe out here if we need one the basement door open why is the fridge open while I'm cleaning the fish do you mind prepping the marinade uh sure I got that just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste cooking oil black pepper salt Italian seasoning paprika and yogurt Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um all right. Salt. Black pepper. Paprika. Uh we got that seasoning. Let's go. Ginger paste. Does that need to be refrigerated? Olive oil and yogurt. 
Wait. Froyo? Wait. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> that. <laughs> Wait. That. What? What? Frozen yogurt? Okay. Um. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Yeah, yeah, on it. The fish and the casserole. Two carp marinade veggies. Oh, I had to add the fish. For Oops. Mike. Uh... Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. 30 minutes for 400 degrees. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. It's freaking Ouija time. Let's go. Just grab whatever catches your eyes. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room next. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm choosing. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Are you ready, Mike? Are you ready? Are we ready? Let's summon the old woman from the basement. Yes. Oh, basement lady. Mike, 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 where are we going to play? Where are we going to play? Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Holly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? Mike! Mike! That's a great idea. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. <gasps> now we're even talking like each other? All right. Mike's getting it. Well, I mean, not it, but, you know, he's catching on. <gasps> Watch out for spiders down here. Oh, that's the scariest thing in this basement. There better be no spiders. Like, where are we going? Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Mike, where are you going? Okay, yeah. You know what will make this even spookier? Turning the lights off and lighting candles. Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Okay, but now I'm scared. <laughs> okay, but now I'm scared. Let's turn off the lights and see if these things really work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are the lights down here? I guess that one can stay on. All right, we ready? Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Of course. Of course I do. All right, then you go. Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Do you want us to leave? Can you see us? We're going to go with the first one. We're going to go with the first one. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Mike, get your hand off the planchette. You're totally moving that.
No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay. I got one too. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Oh, Mike. Be respectful. Yeah, I can't even, I can't read it. It's happening too fast. And not really landing on anything. What's your name? Huh? My turn. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap! And then he just fucking left. He just left us here? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. We're done? We're done? Just like that, we're done? <laughs> this game is uh, called Fears to Fathom. It's the new episode that just dropped. <laughs> he left right into the damn ceiling. Yo, he, yeah, he just jumped up. That's crazy. Who just runs out on somebody? Also, is that an orb? Mike, you freaking butthole? God, are you okay? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. Yeah, you. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. It would have been nice if you checked. Everyone for themselves. No! Team, we're stronger as a team. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney. I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, yeah. Dinner's ready, Mike. Anyway, saved by the dinner bell. <gasps> Ooh, it's snowing now pretty good out there. We got some big flakes, you know what I'm saying? There's a third response called freeze, Mike. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Why is there only one fish on there though now, Mike? Mike, what happened to the other fish? I specifically cooked two fish, Mike. You just gonna eat that whole thing by yourself? With your hands? I'm confused. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Allow me to turn the TV on. I got it, Mike. God. We're in Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with this a is lot our show? of salt. Salt is good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans the need to be blended into what the sauce. What am I supposed to do? Is there another the plate in there for me? Got to keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing Hello? There is the mayonnaise. Had to grab a plate. Stir fry this okay. In a pan with Why is Mike here? He's completely useless. I'm not gonna lie. I have to get my this own food? Like I have to get it myself? Here you are. Rude. Anyway, Mike is selfish. He expects you to get your own food. I can't handle Mike. I cannot handle Mike. We, we got it injected with 
a little anesthesia to make Got sure it, Mike. it doesn't Let's revolt eat. against us. It gets very yum, yum, angry yum, yum, once yum, yum. it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the Oh, oven. hell no. That's nasty. This nasty okay, sounds. And while that's cooking, nasty we can start sounds. on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard. Love this movie. <laughs> a dish only for experience. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Requires a lot of patience and skill. All right. What you will need we smashed this food, Mike. It's gone. Gasoline. It's gone. We did it. Ramen. I was done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dish Heart. really soothes the that soul. That was some damn fine food. Almost like a twice as good cleanse. since we caught the fish ourselves. We begin by pouring it the was gasoline really good. into this pot. We make a great make team, sure Harp. To use team? Gasoline since it's really team, bad Mike. For you. Mike. Let me tell you a little something about team. Half half. Okay. Okay, Do Mike. Not use okay, Mike. Hey, anyways. So I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Put in our Thought we were taking a break I'm from work. Some stuff I found in my it's not work. Basement. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new Ds. Like. For my this new DS. For my... Once the gasoline fully soaks <laughs> into the noodles. It's For my what? Kind of scientific Bill Nye who. I'll the be right back. Okay, I'll clean up. With the noodle molecules. Of course I'll clean and up. They taste very good. I do everything around here. I do everything in this relationship. <laughs> a DS? That's a throwback. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, you're right. The Nintendo DS? I had to do both our plates. No shit. I thought I had to do one at a time. All right. Got them both. And trash. Oh, no. And sink. No. <gasps> yes. More dishwashing. We got this. Man, baby. Oh, oh. The worst of the worst. All right. We hear that ominous music. Something's about to go down. Something's about to go down. <gasps> Mike. Mike. You're a weirdo. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Mike, it's freaking you. Yeah, Mike. Anything else you need me to do? Check under your bed for monsters? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's you, Mike. Don't make a sound and walk slowly. Too late, Mike. I'm already here. <laughs> Mike. Mike? What? Uh-oh. Um, okay. Hiding spots have sound situations. Where is Mike? I know he's not in my room. Wait. Ah! Oh my God. Ain't no way. No way. You jumped? You got jump scared too? <laughs> freaking. Freaking Mike. <laughs> Selena, no. All right, see, team. Team, we're all in this together. <laughs> what the hell, Mike? <clears throat> You're lucky I didn't break your nose, Mike. What the hell? I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on! It was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get you back for this. 
Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. I decided to hide in the basement. Yeah, ain't no way he's gonna go down there. For sure, he's too scared. But we're not. We're not scared of the basement. Right? Oh, that's not the basement. <laughs> We're more scared of going in that uh, restroom after freaking Mike than we are of hiding in a basement. Ooh, a little Harry Potter action. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What? You freaking butthole, he got me. Nala! Hello! <laughs> that wasn't even a challenge. I figured you'd be good at this since I never found you in, find you in the city. What? Maybe you need to look harder? What? What was that conversation? All right. My turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. I was confused. I was like, why can we see through the stairs and through the door? That's crazy. All right. One. Mississippi. Two. Mississippi. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Not the Mississippi County. <laughs> hey, you want to get those seconds right? You, 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 M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -I. You know what I'm saying? Ten. <laughs> uh, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, here we go. Also, why did he knock on that store? That was crazy. We know it's locked. And we know exactly where he is, don't we? He's in that bedroom closet. Let's attack. You have a very soothing podcast-like voice. Thank you. Is it just Lala? I love it. If he jump scared us this time, if he jump scares us this time, I'm gonna punch him. Same, but he's right here. He has to be right here. Gotcha. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Upstairs? We are upstairs. You're gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something up there this time. Oh, wait. That. I'm just reading off script now. I really heard something sliding up there. <gasps> didn't you hear it? No, no, I didn't. No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Move out the way, Mike. I got this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We need that stool. We know where that is. We know where that is. Okay, wait, there are two ladders. There's one in the basement and one out in this shed. Let's check the shed first. Nope, can't move that one. What about this? Nope, can't move that one. What about a chair? Nope. Okay. 
Here's a big ladder right here. What the heck? Why does this guy have 59 ladders and we can't use any of them? A chair? No. The basement? There's a stool right outside the closet door. <gasps> okay. If it's not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why can't I run really fast all of a sudden? Look at us. Look how fast we are for no reason. Okay. Let's grab the stool. That we ran right by. <gasps> I'm slow again. I'm fast again. Is my shift key breaking? Madeline, Madeline W's for Madeline. <laughs> 10K, let's go. Elizabeth, thank you for the likes and the follows. I appreciate you guys. All right. Going up. Oh. We're on it. We're on it, let's go. That's a sick painting. Drawing. Lights. <gasps> Look at our tiny little window. <gasps> Aww. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. It's the cat that Rick was looking for. Rick, Rick. Yes, Rick Wilson. Meow, meow, kitty, kitty. What are you doing up here? Kitty, you want to come downstairs? Meow, meow. Come on. About to drop down right on Mike's head. Mike, it was a cat. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just... <clears throat> Looks like you aren't the only... Can I even say that on TikTok? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like you aren't the only kitty in this house. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Mike? Oh my God, Mike. What do you mean, what do I mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean? He's crazy. He's crazy. It was just a cat, Mike. Calm down. Get him out of here. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. <sighs> I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? <gasps> Maybe we do get to give her some milk, little raven. Yes! Maybe we can give her one of the carp. What? After I come find you again. Oh, yeah, there was a third. But what about... What about Nora? What if she's hungry? He didn't have to do them like that. Oh, oh, but they did. Oh, no. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard and freeze to death. That's a wild choice. But okay. Oh, my God. What could go wrong hiding in a tool shed? I mean, right? <laughs> no more hide and seek. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Emma. So much more. <gasps> He's coming. He's going to get snatched up. It is a pretty odd hiding spot. Oh, he's coming. We're done for. Damn it. 
Aha, there you are. Damn, Harp. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me, and we'll go to bed. All right. Here we go. One. Mississippi. <laughs> Two. Mississippi. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready now? Here it comes. Why was the door just slamming closed? Why? All right, here we go. I don't really know where he would be now. Under a bed? In the shower, let's go. Oh. Not in the shower. As I say, it was just the wind. Indeed. What was this? What what did this door go to? Oh yeah, that's where the Ouija board was. Marco! <laughs> it's in the basement. I'm hiding in the comments now. <laughs> okay. He's not in my old hiding spot. I thought that noise was down below, you know what I'm saying? I guess it was upstairs. Here we go. Mike. We already hid in there. Mike. It's not out here. Attic, perhaps. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Rick, why are you back? <laughs> nice try, nice try, nice try with the jump scare. Didn't work, didn't work that time. I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Do we have a problem with that? Yeah, we got a problem with that. We got a big problem, Rick. You should have told us. Hiss. Hiss. <laughs> this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. He is. He's rude and creepy. This is his little Airbnb situation. And he's been scaring us ever since we showed up. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. 
Told you I'd get this fixed soon for you. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Look, we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? Let's ask him to fix it tomorrow. Him and Mike can sleep outside. Yes. You asking me to leave, miss? Sydney, okay? Sydney Harper. And I paid a hundred dollars to stay here for the night, sir. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, oh my God, that's the last thing you ever say. About to call the police. Mike, let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodsbury, son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing a faucet? If you can't handle that, that's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. I'll leave, I'll leave to it. I'll leave to it. I think I read that wrong. Am I gonna find out what he needs that hammer for? Elroy! Facts. Oh my god, and he's following real close behind him. Bye, Mike. Fade to black. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. I hope the kitty's okay. I know we never got to feed it. We attributed his behavior to the extreme lack of social awareness. How nice of us. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Way after bedtime. What does that sound? It's really, it's really coming down out there. <laughs> what, Mike? Harp, are you still awake? Yeah, Mike, it's hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Yeah. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Right now, Mike? Right now? <sighs> sure, Mike, come on in. What? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. We forgot all about Nora. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. Yeah, it's really gotten pretty bad. Mm, I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Real, really? Really? I'm pretty sure I'm here to keep you safe, Mike. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Mm. What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. Mike? <laughs> Mike, just stop. Mike, do we need to get the hammer? It's... 
Is Nora even coming? Is this a setup? It's been a strange day. Okay. <laughs> Breaks his neck. <laughs> Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Mike, he does own the place. What the heck? Mike. Mike. Mike, he does own the place. Freaking duh. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in here, <laughs> in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. Yeah, Mike. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but... I'm frustrated. Sexually? I think so. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we both get some sleep, Mike. Just... No! No, that's not what I meant. I didn't... I don't... I don't want to. <laughs> Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? I don't want to. That's why, Mike. Uh, I don't want to. Ugh. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. How about you just... Leaving me already, Sydney. <laughs> yep. All the way. Out of here. <gasps> he blocked... He blocked the door. He blocked the front door. Oh, he'll know. Oh, he'll know. Oh, he'll know. Whoa! We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. It was freezing cold outside. We can't leave. Oh, shit. My axe. My axe is out there. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He's crazy. He didn't block the door. I can't leave, though. I thought that was blocking the door. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, Mike, all right. Can I grab this to whack him upside the head with it? No, shh. Mike. Mike. <clears throat> Mike. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us, just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. <sighs> Mike, where's this coming from? Would you be doing that if Nora was here? Mmm. Mm. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Shame on you. Yeah, what about Nora? What about Nora? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward, Mike. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happen. A little drinky poo with our little friends. Come on. They sure did. And um, Nora is messaging me. <laughs> SOS, please. SOS? SOS? Isn't that like she's in trouble? They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Yeah, no, you read into it too deep, Mike. You are super friend zone. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. <sighs> Mike, I don't think this is a good time. <gasps> Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near oh, Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says K 
can't <laughs> no means The snow no is like might. half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask. But He's not picking up what we're putting down, you know what I'm saying? That voice is crazy. That voice is crazy. <laughs> Poor Nora. Poor Nora and her voice. Uh. Shit. He's. Okay. We're, so we're standing up now? Okay. Got it. Mike. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Yes, let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, wait, what? Let me get dressed. Who's not dressed? No, we can't. We better get ready. I guess let me get dressed. No, Sydney. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's what I'm saying. Have we been in a towel this whole time? Like we took a shower and put on a towel. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, are you sure, Mike? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas. <laughs> okay. And I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I, I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Okay. All right. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. No, not saying nothing. No. I was worried too. Like, ain't no way we're just in a towel this whole time. Ain't no way. All right. All right. Bye, Mike. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Of course. Silly me. Just leave it wide open, Mike. Oh my God. He's still talking through the door. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. No. 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 Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Okay. All right. How do we lock the door? Oop! There's nothing that says lock. Oop! How do I know it's locked? I don't know it's locked. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Patricia, hi. I was keen on getting some sleep, shit, until Mike returned. Uh, or something like that. How am I supposed to lock? Okay, I guess we're not locking the doors. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling we're not going to see Nora? Ooh. Poor Nora. Also, why did I take a shower in there if this is my room? I guess it doesn't matter. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m., one hour later. One hour later. Ooh. Oh, we must have locked them out. Okay, here we go. Nora better be here. Nora better be here with... <gasps> that's not Nora. That's not Nora and that's not Mike. That's not Nora and that's not Mike. That's the guy from the, the, from the frickin' pizza place. Mm -mm. 
No, it's not Rick and his hammer. It's the pizza place guy. The guy that I was like, well, we'll give you a ride, psych. Oh my god. Um, I don't know where the lights are. Uh, hello? Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. He wants the tip. Victoria, hi. Hello. How are you? I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Okay, you can sit on the porch if you want. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends got here to get me. Mm. You're not coming in. No, end of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? Hey, look. Hey, look. What is up with him in these rides? I don't know, he got a ride here. He got a ride to our spot. That's crazy. Look, I didn't make you go hiking in the snowstorm. Wait, did he hike here? I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. A what? A who? You want to see that? You want to see that? That again, what? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Oh my God, why are the options call the cops and call the cops? How about we just go grab that piece of wood, open the door and, you know, just swing, swing on him, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to get the cops involved. <sighs> Ain't no cops around here. God dang it. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows they know cops in Woodbury. Okay. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Why do all these people know there are no cops here? But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Mm, okay. Okay. It's fine. He said, I'm unkind. And unkindness follows... What did he say earlier? Unkindness follows those who are unkind? I got an axe. I got me an axe right out there. Right by that creek. Think we can make a run for it? No, god dang it. Put on some clothes, Sydney. Put on some clothes. We got to go outside. We got to get prepared. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, I can't lock it either. Okay, that's fine. It wouldn't be horror without the tropes. You got to split up. You gotta be horny. There's gotta be some cursed object, right? You're too tired to stay awake. 
Oh my god, get up. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think I hear him moving out around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? He gonna be like, F you. <laughs> Joke's on you. And someone's gotta, <laughs> someone's gotta get off first. Yes. Yes. You think the doors auto lock? Madeline, I hope so. Oh wait, is he gonna answer? Is he gonna reply? S-O-S. Biatch. Oh, it won't let me send it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ain't no way that's Rick already. Ain't no way. All right, here we go. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him was a relief. Oh, shit! God damn it, Rick. <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? Explain the situation. Here we go. So, what had happened was... <clears throat> Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why? Why? Why, Rick? I see you brought your hamper. <gasps> By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Uh, Mike? Uh... He should be back soon. Why? Why do you ask? Why do you ask, Rick? Rick, why do you ask? Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh, he started acting weird. What is he doing? Where's he going? He's going to the basement. No, he's not. He's warming himself by the fire. He's gonna stay. It's fine. Every, everything is fine. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Like you, Rick. Like you. Oh, God. You're not Rick! Oh, I can't go anywhere. Oh, I can't run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I still didn't feel safe opening the door. I can't run. I can't run. He's stuck and I can't run. Let's shoot him, let's shoot him, let's shoot him, let's shoot him, let's shoot him. Stay the hell away from me. I don't know what to do. Ah! We got a hiding spot down here, we got a hiding spot. It's fine, 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 it's fine.
Everything's okay, miss? Oh, no, he doesn't say that. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awfully late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want to. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. Uh, no, you need to leave right now. It's fine. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You're right! What do you want? <laughs> I want what's mine. This house and you. <laughs> what do you mean me? What do you mean me? I'm not yours, sir. Sir, I'm not yours. You're trespassing. No, I'm not. You are. I paid for this place. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house. It will be one of us. What? I shouldn't have stood there watching him break off the door handle. He was fast. He was too fast. Okay, we need a plan. We need a plan. Okay. All right. Did you see anyone outside? Might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Okay. Are they really gonna make us go all this over again? Where's my flashlight? Where's my flashlight? By the way, where's your friend? Uh, he should be back soon. So you're all alone here? Mm, yeah. Should we run upstairs this time? Wait, is this the new? It is the new Fears to Fathom. Brand new episode dropped today. Get it while it's hot. Okay, should we go up? Well, well, he's gonna be right here messing with the door. I think that gives us plenty of time to run up this way, right? Closet? The one with the attic? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Where is he? He's right here. Alright. Um. Oh yeah, okay, here it is. Here's where we find out. <gasps> Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the... Wait! It hasn't been Rick this whole time. It hasn't been wrecked this whole time. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Everything okay, miss? Mm-hmm. Awfully late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? You're not Rick. What did you say? Hmm. I said, you're not Rick. Upstairs and out the back door with the porch. <gasps> Is that the room? 
Wait, what room is that? Is that the room with, um... With the rainfall shower? Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house... It will be one of us. Okay, okay, okay. He's doing his thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh! Okay, but what? What was that even? We couldn't even get by him. Not even a little bit. They really need to put a save in there, though. They really need to put a save in here because that sucks doing the, all this uh, line work. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. So we can't go upstairs. We can go into the basement. I wonder if it still says... I wonder if it still says, um... It's freezing if we try to leave. I still think the basement's a good option. Let's get a flashlight. Oh, I can't. Shit. Um... We just can't sit there and, and watch, <laughs> watch him break open the freaking door handle. <laughs> I remember it from hide and seek. I think it was the room to the left. Uh, n no, PewDiePie couldn't have played this years ago because it just came out today. Okay, all right. Let's, I guess, try the basement again. Oh, wait. Yep, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Confront. It'll be one of us. Let's just go now. Right? Because now he has no idea. We need to go, we need to go, we need to go. <gasps> Okay, 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 so, okay. All right, downstairs, and then, and then the other room. The other room, not that room, the other room, yes. Hiding in the basement's the right option, let's go. Thank you for the follows, let's go. All right.
Go into the attic? So I was looking, the step stool is now back outside. Um, do you think we, do you think we pick up the step stool and then bring it back inside with us while he's distracted and go up? Let's try that. This is crazy. We gotta get away from freaking fake Rick. I'm not sure if we should have turned that light on. Kitty! Fuck. Don't worry. Fucking hot hole. What do we do now that we're up here, though? I feel like we're kind of trapped up here. Meow, says the kid. Uh, are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. There is no attic door. Oh. Do you think we may, well, should we just wait for the police? Because I think if I hit that, we're gonna go back downstairs. Wait for the place. Can we text Nora back now? No. This is the new Fears to Fathom episode that just dropped today called, what's it called? Woodbury something or other. Go out to the room that leads outside to the back. There was a ladder right next to it. There was a ladder right next to it, yes. I don't remember what that room was, though. That's the problem.
Is it right here? It's right here, it's right here, it's right here. It's too high, it won't let us jump off. Who does keep ringing the doorbell? What is with this music? Mike, you freaking butthole. <laughs> I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think the, the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But the cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. So there were cops in the town. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, gave us a full refund. Yeah, let's go. We got our hundred bucks back. A little trauma. Hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's freaking go! Here's to Fathom always hits. Always. It's always a good choice. Yes.